Alrighty, here we go. I hope this is going to work. Hello, everybody. I'm Ryan for Silly Reviews. We're going to try, uh, I'm just learning some different things here, I'm trying to master how to do the stream recording, record multiple inputs at once on the computer. So bear with me on how rough this is going to be, but it also could be pretty fun. So I'm going to do what got hot a couple of months ago. We're going to do a, a tier ranking, but not so much on personal opinion. What I have down below are seven of the earliest videos that I had ever created for YouTube. These are going to be circa, well not for YouTube, but it was before YouTube. It was just for silly reviews. These are circa 2006 to 2008, I believe. All of them. I do know the view counts of them. I'm not going to go on opinion based on how much I like them or anything, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about these videos and take a guess to see which ones have the most and the least hits, okay? And in no particular order, I'll start picking some of them and play them, give you some background information on what might have been going on that day or wherever I was living or whoever I was with or whatever whatever I was doing. So, and just like I said, bear with me on how rough this is going to be. But if any of you have any interest on old school silly reviews and Ryan, the old Ryan for silly reviews... This could be entertaining and this is also going to be educational for me as I test all this out. I do have some ideas coming up. So here we go. If you can see these thumbnails down here, okay? So the first one we have, you see this is some pee in a cup, right? That's an EPT, pregnancy test review. Gotta be one of the first five reviews I ever did, probably circa 2006, okay? This one right here is actually the very first silly review I ever made once I came up with the idea. And it was for the George Foreman grill. It looked like I had a family size grill right there. The next one is this for for a Fujitsu, I think was the name brand of it. Oh man, I paid so much for this thing. It was a micro laptop, super portable. It ran Windows XP. Uh, it, it was futuristic but the execution was poor it was so slow but it was a hot item at the time because of how small and skinny it was and the battery life on it was pretty incredible and it ran full-fledged windows xp at the time so a lot of people were searching online for that anyway next one up we've got Lil whippy here and it looks like he's fooling with some gray goose that's probably circa 2008 and that's one of my favorite characters ever was little whippy Lil whippy from mississippi Brr okay this one is for naked pizza this is another one that's about circa 2008 and i had my buddy rick pose as a delivery boy they had a new local pizza joint open up it was all earthy and healthy and high fiber pizza and stuff and he played a little character for me and uh that was really fun that's one thing i do miss uh with having uh roommates was to have some of the boys be able to help out and make review videos okay this one this was right when the iPhone, the very first iPhone had released. Now, Ryan couldn't afford an iPhone, and we'll leave it at that. But I still reviewed one. And finally, we have another little Whippy right here. Little Whippy is um, reviewing that Stubbs barbecue sauce. So we're just going to go at random, and they're actually listed here in alphabetical order. So take your guess guesses, one through seven, and all these videos have been up for ages. They have had plenty enough time to make a dent on YouTube and get some views. So let's go with a very, or, or should I mix it up? What do I do here? Uh, let's go ahead and just mix it up. I'll, I'll go back to front, because actually I just really want to play a, a whippy video. So this is a little whippy with Stubbs barbecue sauce. And he's actually going to come in at number five out of seven. Put that daddy right there. Uh, the success of this video on YouTube, I think it's been on YouTube for at least eight years. Could be wrong, we're gonna check in a sec. A whopping, right over 1,600, almost 1,700 views <laughs> in like a decade. Let's go ahead and check out that video. Let's see, how do we get to it here? Here, here, where are we at? Stubbs, let's watch a little Stubbs. This is a house I lived in with uh, two friends, Uptown, New Orleans. Had a lot of mice in this house. Had a lot of mice, uh, had a lot of fun, had a lot of drinking, had a lot of partying in this house. Uh, it was a fun time. It was a, it was a chaotic time. 
but it was a fun time. So let's let's check out Lil Whippy with the stubs. Yo, what up, y'all? It's Lil Whippy back in the house. What what an uh, idea for a character. A little secret on how to get your meat tasting gangster. Now we're gonna talk about some barbecue sauce. You heard me? We talking about that barbecue sauce. Oh. Let's see if I can break fact, down this uniform. Now everything of this outfit, everything back then was recorded on potato quality. It was a Sanyo flip digital camera. I believe the resolution was 64480. These videos have been moved around and uploaded so many times. Uh, what you get here is about three pixels of quality. Look at the, the down and up. So look, this. <laughs> oh man, it's almost 11 years ago I published this on YouTube. Published October 13th, 2008. The published dates on some of these videos may not be accurate because uh, actually I wasn't posting to YouTube when I first started all this. It was just on my website. So a whopping 1,668 views. If you've ever paid attention to the site, you know it's silly reviews. The logo is a thumbs up and a thumbs down. And the tagline is always our reviews get bad reviews. So keep that in mind. What is the ratio of up to down votes, ladies and gentlemen? One up vote and 15 down votes. Ouch. I usually like to have it 50-50. So, clearly, Little Whippy is not appreciated by people who wanted to look up Stubbs barbecue sauce. Well, let's go ahead and play a little bit more because I like how excited he gets when he gets that Stubbs out the, the refrigerator and then he talks about what he can do with it. And I, I do remember about this fridge. These bottles of uh, multivitamins and supplements and stuff up there. Those are my buddy Rick's. And those would fall off of that all the time. I, I think I was just a little too aggressive, as you'll probably see here, with the door. And those used to fall over all the time. And I can use—I used to remember just being really aware of that. Here we go. That's how we do it, right? You got you, maybe you got you some ribs. Maybe you got you a tasty little burger. I don't know. Maybe you got you some grilled or fried chicken. And you need a little extra kick. Now I don't want you grabbing that old craft, that old whack craft, and putting. Don't grab any of that old whack craft barbecue sauce. Look at this outfit. We've got a, I think that's a, a fake cigarette that it's like a prop cigarette. It can blow smoke out of it or something. He's got a cigarette here. He's got a, a bandana on with the flat bill striped hat from the gas station on top. Uh, we've got an eye patch for reasons I do not know. Wonderful stuff. Put it on there. You don't want to even do that, you heard? Let me show y'all what I put on my food when I'm trying to chow down with my homies. Peep it out. Dig it right up in here in the fridge. Oh, talking about that stubs, baby. I got two of them. How many you got? Oh, we talking about stubs. Barbecue sauce. Stubs. Uh. Those, those bottles of barbecue sauce, I believe both of them were, were pretty much just empty. And you know how that goes when you, you have a drop left of a condiment sitting in your, uh, your refrigerator? That looks like the story with those. But for real, Stubbs is good. It's really good. Smoky right here is that smoke flavor. I like to smoke it. So this is what I put on my barbecue sauce. Now let's say right here, I got me some chicken right here. I just... Now what you'll see here is my idea for this character was... He was going to be ridiculous. He was going to be annoying. He was going to act ghetto or gangster, but like phony gangster. Uh, I actually feel like I was the original uh, white boy like this. Because this is, this is 11 years ago. I know there's a YouTuber who's blown up with his white boy character. Uh, what's he say? He says he's from the Bay, but he's white though. What's his name? I can't think of it right now, but I, I used to watch some of his videos, especially when he had a redneck character. But I, I feel like I was just the originator of a character like this on YouTube. And I uh, wish I would have got more props. And one thing right there. I tried to make him as animated as possible. So he was he would always <laughs> make sound effects, you know. He's got his bird call. He makes sound effects of the uh, barbecue sauce coming out. Uh, Grey Goose in another video when you're pouring it. Bloop, bloop. Uh, that was everything behind this character. And I'm just soaking up on there right now. Maybe I got me a steak. I ain't putting no, none of that Liam Perns on there. No. And make sure anything with the ER, you err it out. Speak like that. Um, mispronounce things when I can remember because I pretty much do everything in one take. So I try to remember, you know, that's all the little pieces that make Lil Whippy. Like that, I'm trying to get that stuff. 
Now I'm going to have to give Stubbs two of them bird calls up like I gave my great goose. Stubbs barbecue sauce. You heard it right here from Whippy on that SillyReviews.com. Check it out. Stubbs, baby. Silly Reviews. I'm out. All right, so that ranked in there for us at number five with the, the whopping 1,600 plus hits. Next up, let's go ahead and uh, which one are we going to pick here? Uh, let's get to that little Fujitsu. That my, I don't know if it was called a micro book or whatever it was, it was, but on the list here, it's actually going to come up number three. Now, this was a video made in 2006. It didn't reach YouTube probably till 2008, somewhere around there, but this was a hot gadget, and it was a premium price. Uh, if I had to guess on how much that cost new, woo, had to be 600 plus, at least, at least, and uh, I already told you some stuff about it, so... Again, silly reviews. Our reviews get bad reviews. The whole uh, point of this channel was to troll people. I don't know why that's the idea I came up with, but I, I really, back in the day, and I found out in the, now that that's hard to monetize, so I've changed things up a bit, but I found I, I tried back in the day to just troll the internet. So here we go. It's that Fujitsu Lifebook P1120. And let's see what kind of great idea I came up with to demonstrate because people wanted to find out as much as they could about items like this, electronics like this. We had come into the age where you could find out all these reviews and everything on the internet. So the way I was able to SEO things and how easy it was to come up on the Google results back then, uh, I was getting so many views on the website. It was incredible. That's back in the day when I used to be able to monetize through Amazon. Those are the glory days. But I'm in Louisiana, so if you don't know, if you want to be an affiliate for Amazon... Uh, there are, are some states where you can't be a part of the program, and Louisiana is one of them. That hurts when it comes to putting links up that I can make a couple, you know, a little change off of somebody buys something. Anyway, here we go. So imagine yourself being somebody who is considering dropping some serious coin on this mini laptop notebook, and you're thinking that you're gonna you're gonna get some help here. To another review on SillyReviews.com. Today we are going to review a Lifebook P-Series mini laptop computer. I, I don't even know what type of equipment I could have possibly been recording on, being that this is 2006. What, what would it have been? And what could the resolution have been? 480 probably by 320 or something like that at the best? Goodness gracious. Uh, it's a very small, full functional PC laptop. Uh, it runs Windows XP, and uh, it's very small. You know what I noticed here? My, my vocal tick, which other people annoy me with theirs, and I probably annoy some people with mine, is how I say, uh, so much. And even in one of these very first videos, I'm doing it. So I think that's something you just kind of grow up with, you know, but I try to remember to, to not do that. So get that thought out of your head, though, because you're going to hear me say it again, <laughs> and it might bug you. So back to the review. Tiny. And if you were ever wondering about buying one of these, I know you can get them at a more than half off of what they cost when they first came out a few years ago. Uh, we're going to help, help you to make an informed decision. So let's go ahead and flip this one open. And it's going to come out of hibernation. ATI graphics, wow. Got it loading up. We're going to show you just what this baby can do. So I'm already prepping Boom, them. Boom, already back in Windows. To show them what On our could favorite do. website, sillyreviews.com. Wow. As you can see, the Fujitsu Lifebook P series, um, it works. You can press this button right here. And what that'll do is put it back in hibernation. So hopefully that's all you need to know about the Fujitsu Lifebook. <laughs> there it is. Oh, man. I wish I could have the old comments that I used to have for this video, man. So much hate sent to the website. Like I said, this was probably done in 2006, but 
it uh, it didn't make its way to YouTube till 2008. A lot of these videos look like they were published in October of 2008. That may have been when I realized YouTube was a thing and you can make a channel and stuff like that. So interesting. There's even a link here. So in 2008, I made a bit.ly redirect. I don't think bit.ly URL shorteners were around back then. I wonder where this goes. We're about to find out. Gearbest. Goes to Gearbest. I didn't know I was promoting Gearbest. Maybe you have some money in an affiliate account at uh, Gearbest I didn't even know about. But anyway, let's keep it moving. Keep it moving. It's going to be a really long video. All right. The next video we're going to pull out on the top seven from way back. Let's go ahead and get that pizza review done. The pizza review is going to rank number six out of seven. It has a monstrous 1,585 views. So not bad for 11 years. Oh, my goodness. So like I briefly mentioned uh, before, Naked Pizza. Where, oops, here we go. Naked Pizza was a local place in New Orleans in the uptown area that had opened up, sold healthy pizza, lots of fiber in the crust, and it would make you poop. Where is the naked pizza? There it is. And this is my buddy Rick helping me out. He's, he's posing as the pizza guy. Welcome to another episode of sillyreviews.com. I just ordered a pizza from the world's healthiest pizza out here in New Orleans, Louisiana. World's and, healthiest uh, delivery pizza. delivery guy's on his way up, so I figured why not do a review on it. It started as World's Healthiest Pizza. Then I updated the title on here because I believe it got sold or something, changed to Naked Pizza. But then they closed down. And hey, look down here. Two upvotes, one downvote. Hey. World's pizza. <laughs> <laughs> because that's how the pizza man announces himself when he, he, he knocks on your door. He screams out the name of the business. Hey, how you doing, man? Um, I'm doing a review for your pizza for a website I have, and um, I was wondering maybe if you could flip it open for me to kind of help the review. <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? Do I really have to open it? I mean, you want a tip? or series? I'm just asking for a small favor. I'm trying to help your company out. There you go, dude. <laughs> We're missing a piece, huh, dude? What's going on? I was kind of hungry, man. <laughs> So that was a pretty harmless prank right there. Um, you know, it is also saying, like, look how good the pizza was. The pizza guy's eating a bite out of it. That was a fun one. And like I said, it was always fun to have the friends around to make some content. Should have made more with them. Let's move it. We're going to keep it moving now. Let's take a peek at uh, the George Foreman Grill. That one comes in on this list at number four. Number four on the list is the George Foreman Grill, the very first silly reviews I ever made. And I showed you how versatile the George Foreman Grill really can be. Welcome to another product review on Silly Reviews. Man, that kitchen is looking a mess. And oh, I'm trying to see the stuff on that kitchen to remind me. Oh, look at these upvotes and downvotes. Three upvotes, 32 downvotes. I wonder what the comments say. I'm sure they're nice. Effing stupid waste of my time. Am I on crack? I don't get the point of this. Awesome. And it looks like nine years ago I got offended by someone. <laughs> and I said clean up is super easy, you effing idiot. Same as if I cooked a steak on it. <laughs> and it looks like I didn't know how to actually actually reply to comments at that point. Oh, that's glorious. But let's see how versatile is this form and grill. Today we're going to do... Go ahead, skip a little bit. How about some salad? Okay, it starts off normal. Chicken breast. Genius. About some salad dressing. Wait a minute. Salad dressing. Sweet. What about some antacid tablets? And and you can see from here things just go off the rail. How about some dog treats? Dog treats. Throw a couple of these on there. Some cheese on cheese. there. Cheese. So I just went to town, man. I, really I just I wasted flavor. a whole bunch of delicious groceries. Got some sour cream. Edamame, sour, wasting the sour cream. Ice Look cubes, melting ice Look cubes on this there. This has been a product review for the George Foreman 
grilling machine. It cuts the fat. Cutting the fat with the grilling machine. The very first silly review. It's always fun to go back and watch that one. Um, the idea was there. I definitely had the idea. <laughs> And I can't believe I've been doing these videos for 13 years. Goodness gracious. But I enjoy it, as you can tell. I hope you are too. I hope you're going to have a good day today. Let's pick up another one off the list. Let's pick up number seven off the list. And then we'll, we'll have a little battle for one and two. A little anticipation at the end. Surprisingly, the worst one on this list only has 22 views. I'm sorry. And it is the... It's the iPhone, my original iPhone, kind of a prank troll review, one of the first reviews I ever did. What I did was I took a, a T-Mobile sidekick, I printed out a color photo of a photo of an iPhone that I saw online, taped it to the front, and you know, this this is one of the videos, I can remember the first comments I got for it, I probably still get terrible comments about it. I, I can remember when I did not imagine that the stupidity was going over people's heads. I didn't think it would bother people so much. I didn't know they would be so either so uptight or so dim-witted because it's clear somebody has a printed out piece of paper on top of a different phone and saying it's an iPhone. And I thought some people, more people would get a kick out of it for how ridiculous it is. Apparently not, though, but let's get down to it. Whoops. Welcome to another product video review on and it's held on. reviews.com. It's, it's held on with electrical tape. Today we're doing a video review on the new Apple iPhone. I got mine in the super cool, super limited edition green. Oh, green, I believe, because the printer, the ink was, like, shot on it. And uh, the black was green. And um, has a lot of... Or at least that's what my girlfriend at the time told me, because I'm colorblind. Nice functions. Spits pretty well in the hand, if you want to hold it that way. And um, so far, I've noticed that the... Uh, had it for a while now. The batteries on this that I'm holding hasn't gone dead. Um, colors are vibrant. And um, everything I expected from Horton. I'll put it on speaker and you can see just how well it works. Let me go ahead and check my voicemail on this one. How about that? So, simply <laughs> press a couple of these buttons right here. <laughs> oh my goodness. And. Oh my goodness. So, do you <laughs> do you see how ridiculous that is? And it just blows me away that so many people leave hateful comments and they'll they'll they won't even acknowledge that they realize that this is a joke, but they'll say that's not a real iPhone. That's not a real iPhone. Uh, da, da, that's a T-Mobile. That's not a real iPhone. Blows my mind anyway. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it grooving. So, We've got the number one and the number two left of the really old silly reviews that are not popular on YouTube at all. So, coming in with the two that are left, we've got the EPT Home Pregnancy Test Review. And we've got Lil Whippy reviewing the Grey Goose. And coming in at number two is Whippy with the Grey Goose. Over 6,000 views. Yo. What's happening? It's your boy Whippy in the house. I'm trying to holler at you about that Grey Goose player talking about that goose, nigga. What? That goose. This with me and my boys. This what we get when we going out. We ain't trying to get that taka vodka. Man, that's grammar school. You got to step your game up, your drink game up. Oh, my goodness. People do not like Whippy. Now, even though this one's getting towards 7,000 views, look at that up and down count. Up votes 13, down votes 49. Goodness gracious. Haters in the house. And that one was uploaded in 2008. Man. So winning out of all the old ones, this one still was able to get 
some hits on YouTube. And let's go ahead and slide up this EPT pregnancy test review. Now, if this was 2019 and I had an old lady who took a pregnancy test, then I would highly recommend her to just go to the Dollar Tree because the ones from Dollar Tree are just as effective and uh, accurate. So that's a little word to the wise. If you're worried about your uh, your lady friend or if you are the lady friend and you think you might be getting knocked up, just go to the Dollar Tree. Grab a couple from Dollar Tree. Dollar piece. And this actually reminds me of the reason why we had those home pregnancy tests. Woo! Wipe that sweat off your brow. Here we go. Welcome to another product review on sillyreviews.com. Today we're going to review the EPT home pregnancy test. It claims to be 99% accurate. We're going to go ahead and test this thing out and see if it will give me an easy to read result. Now, lately I've been feeling a little queasy in the morning. My stomach has been upset and I have yet to have a period. I'm wondering if I'm pregnant. So let's go ahead and find out. Here is the test stick. Now this one I can remember on the website actually had a lot more laughing comments back in the day. You can see here on YouTube it's got 12 up, 29 down. Not awful. About 33%, right? No. A little under 50%. Anyway, too early to be doing math. But uh, let's see what some of the comments say here. Look, see, we've got somebody laughing. Somebody doesn't know how they wound up here. But I have heard that if a dude takes a pregnancy test and it comes up positive, it's a possible sign of testicular cancer. Well, that's scary. This video is old, and you're possibly still alive. So I guess that proves my theory wrong. Well, it didn't come up positive, so... But anyway, oh, look at Chelsea six years ago said, you, sir, need a life. Nice of her. And somebody wanted to know if I cleaned the sink. Oh, because did I, did I dump the, a, the pee? And that's my actual pee. Did I dump the pee in the sink? Let that sit for Believe him. Let's go ahead. Not sure. Sideways. Thank goodness. But anyway, I appreciate it if you hung with this video and watched it. Took a trip down memory road with your buddy Ryan from Silly Reviews. Now, what I'm going to do here, if you even see this video up and you watched it, that means at least some part of what I'm testing worked. And if it did, then hopefully that's going to lead to some fun videos in the future. So, so stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, uh, please do that. Leave a comment. Just leave a comment about anything you want. Don't forget to smash that like button. You got to smash it. That's what the kids say. Okay, I'm out of here. Ryan for Silly Reviews. Thanks for watching.